What's going on everybody? It's your main man Drew Tube and I'm back at you again with another video. All right, when you study and become a student, you learn things other people don't because they didn't invest the time. Let's talk about it. Whatever you study and whatever you are learning, you gotta learn as much as you can. You can't just learn a little bit of it and then try to do it. You have to keep learning because over time, what you know is going to become outdated. What you know is going to become, you're not going to be able to use it anymore. Things may change. Our uh, styles may change. You're going to have to keep studying and keep learning different things. So that way you can keep being creative and you can create what you want. All right. Say you do art. You're going to want to study all different types of art so that way you'll never run out of styles, okay? If you, when, when you study all different types of art, you got uh, people who make depressive type art, you have people who make happy art, you have people who make abstract art, or you have people who make paintings about nature, people who make paintings about uh spiritual things like uh, seeing inside the mind you have uh, people who draw or make art about the universe people can make paint uh, pay, people can paint pictures about and that was a tongue twister people could paint pictures about anything so in order to keep yourself relevant and in order to be able to create different things so you don't get stuck in one area or you don't get labeled as one particular artist, you, you'll be able to do whatever type of art you want. You're gonna wanna study different types to begin with. So that way you'll have a whole bunch of different things to grab from, all right? You won't just be picking a little piece from here and a little piece from there. You'll be able to grab from everyone. You'll be able to learn from everything because you've studied so much. And that's why it's important to what it's been it's important to become a student of what you study not just to study it you want to become a student of it so that way you'll you'll embody what you learn you'll be able to use what you learn and and uh create with it and flip it and turn it into something new and something something different all right you'll have you'll have a base you'll have a structure and you'll already have an idea of what people like so that way you won't have to guess. You could you could go off of what you already know is good. You don't have to reinvent anything, but you can do your own thing within what you learn. That way you're really taking what you learn and doing something with it. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? You're supposed to take what you learn and so you're supposed to do something with it. That's why it's important to become a student of what you study. Because when you do, you'll learn things that other people don't. That's why I always say it's important to invest time in what you want to be. It's important to invest time in what you want to do. It's important to invest time in that business. Don't just start the business and that's it. Well, I'm just going to learn uh, some things on business. Maybe read a few books here. Maybe uh, study a few things here. No, you're going to want to go in with that totally study as much as you can learn as much as you can so that way you could be better than if you were just to do a little bit you'll be that much better of a businessman that much better of a businesswoman all right so when you study and you become a student you'll people won't be able to take advantage of you you won't have to you won't have to use other people's resources. You'll be able to use your own resources. You'll be able to rely on yourself. You won't have to rely on other people. All right. A lot of people have to hire people to teach them things. A lot of people have to hire people to uh, show them how to do this or show them how to do that. You'll know everything that you need to know by becoming a student and studying what it is you need to know. They got books on everything that you could possibly want to learn and whatever you want to learn is out there. So you can study what you want to become and you can become as great as you want to become at it. All right. You want to become as great at what you want to become possible. So always read, always study and always learn and don't let anything get in the way of that. OK. 
And the more you study, the more you learn about uh, your craft, the more you study, the more you learn about the things you want to be great at, the better you're going to be at it. People are going to wonder how you're doing things. People are going to uh, wonder how you did it. All because you put you invested time. When you invest time in yourself, you pick up on things, you learn things, you 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 end up being better than other people because you chose to invest time. Whoever invests the most time in what they're doing, that's going to be the person that's the best at it. So you want to talk about people who want to be great. You want to talk about people who who want to do something. It's, it's about the person who is investing the most time. All right. The, the the players that invest the most time when they go to the gym, those are the best players on the court. Why do you think all the, the player that's dropping threes the whole entire game? What do you think you, he's doing when he's not playing the game? He's dropping threes, practicing. The player that's always good with the handle, he's always practicing his handle. Then you got players that always practice their defensive skills. There's, there's uh, people who take what they do very seriously. Like Floyd Mayweather, he's always practicing his boxing. I think he stopped, but now he's boxing again. When people are serious about what they want to do, they become an expert in it. And when you study and you become a student and you become an expert because you invested the time, you will have uh, certain ideas that other people won't get. You'll learn certain things that people won't know. You'll have a leg up in your industry. You'll have a leg up in your area that you're uh, going to be successful in. So whether you're you're about to be a clothing designer, study all areas of fashion. Yeah, I don't care if, even if it's from the 1800s. You want to become a student of the thing that you're studying. All right, study antique clothes, study 70s, 1800s, whatever, all types of clothes because there's there's all there's always something that you might like. There's always something that you could take. Okay, I like this style. All right, this is from the 1900s. I'm gonna add this. I'm gonna add this here. This is from this time period. I'm gonna take that and put that here. They got the internet now, so you could look up whatever time era you want. You could you could study whatever time era you want. You could look at whatever era you want and see how they were doing things in that particular time. And you could learn what they were doing, take a little bit from them, take a little bit from the next era, and then you could put together your own thing and have what you want. Because, I mean, if, if, if you haven't noticed, that's what people are doing anyway. So you might you might as well do it, too. So that way you can have a vast knowledge and a, a, a vast idea of how what it is you're trying to do, how it's done. And that's, that's what you need to know. You need to learn how, what it is you're trying to do, how people do it, and how it gets done. And once you figure out how people... So, yes, when you study and you become a student, you end up having an advantage over the people who don't put in as much time as you. All right? When you put in more time than other people, you end up having an advantage over them and they don't end up they don't even end up coming close to what it is you have to offer you end up being the one that gets chosen all right regardless of being chosen or not they pick you because of, of the effort that you put in and the work that you put in and the amount of time you spent working on what you're working on people can tell when you look at somebody's work, people can tell if this is somebody that's putting in time or effort into what they're doing or is this somebody just trying to get by or get over with what they're doing. You don't want to be seen as somebody that's just, that's just trying to get by or get over with what they're producing or the, the project that they're working on. So always spend a good enough amount of time to whatever you create, you feel comfortable with it and you feel that you did the best that you could possibly do. Because when, whenever you put out something that you feel you, you've done the best that you could possibly do, that's when other people are going to look at it that exact same way and you're going to get the uh, type of feedback that you want. People are going to be calling you. People are going to be wanting your services. So put the amount of effort in that you want to see people put the amount of effort in back. All right. So whatever you want people to put into it, that's what you put into it. So it, it requires you taking the time to learn certain things, to study certain things, to look up different time errors, look up what they were doing at this period, look up what they were doing at that period. All right. 
look up um, every type of thing that has to do with what you're doing, every type of music, every type of art, every type of type of style, research it all. Because that way you're, you're, you're never going to run out of ideas and you're never going to have to look at what anybody else is doing in order to see what direction you want to go in. You'll be able to change the direction with a lot of things because you'll know so much and all you'll be doing is just tapping into different eras and different time periods and different styles. So people want to do something, people are doing something different, you'll be able to do something different in your own lane. Imagine always being able to do something different and stay in your own lane, all because you put in a certain amount of time and, and research. So now you know, okay, people are doing something different. I'll do something different, but I'm going to do something different my own way. I'm not going to do what they're doing that's different. Because when people do something different, a lot of people will just all gravitate towards that one era or that, I mean, that one area. People put out uh, drill music, everybody wants to now make drill beats. People put out this type of music now, everybody wants to make these type of beats. Everybody, whatever the new thing is, whatever the new wave is, people gravitate to it. And it's nothing wrong with that because new waves make, uh, make new pays, okay? New waves will get you paid, yes it will. But you still want to be able to have your, your soul at the end of the day in terms of your own style, your own creativity. You want to have your own mind because when that style changes, what direction are you going to go in after that? You, if you're not the person who created that style, you're going to have to go in whatever direction people are going in or you're going to have to wait. You may not even have a direction. You may be stuck. You may, you may end up with creator's block and how you end up not having creator's block is by studying and by researching all the stuff that's already put, been put out there before you. You'll have so much more to, to take from, to, 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 to study, to use, to explore. You get what I'm saying? So when, when you become an expert, when you pay homage, when you become a student, it's just like, like being a, a, a rapper. All right. I, I studied all the artists right i listen to every person that put out music so when when you when you st uh, uh, study every person that's or say if you're a rapper right this is just an example right from my point of view i'll just give you this example from when i'm uh was working on rap music i listen to every rapper out there i listen to the new school i listen to the old school when i this is when i was in high school right i listened to every artist that i could jay-z lil wayne kanye uh like i thought i had i thought i had to listen to all those artists i i, I went back i listened to rakim uh spice one um uh what's it called epmd um what's it called tribe call quest uh all those dudes um what's the dude's name uh his name was yogurt backwards that group they made the me myself and i song um diggable planets um like i'm to i go back like i i listen to ever like special ed um mc light of course um l cool j all those people uh fat man scoop like even the djs like just being like a hip hop head, like growing up, and and it's it's go it's coming back to that now, which is cool. And I mean, I with it, I I think yeah, I think it's coming back to that. But like every artist that you could listen to, like I listen to, like the tapes, the underground, like Kanye West had all the the lost tapes, all the mixtapes, Lil Wayne, all the mixtapes, Jay Z, all the mixtapes. Like I would get mixtapes from the barber shop, you know. I get uh, mixtapes from like everywhere. Like, like you, you'd be downloading music off Napster, like before they had YouTube and stuff like that. Like you'd be downloading music off uh, Napster and sending it with the instant messaging and all that and trading songs and sending songs to people. And I, I just, I studied every artist that I possibly could, you know, I studied every artist that I possibly could and I embody every artist. Like even like yeah, I even listened to cannabis, and I what even was crazy 
was when I heard that in a cannabis bar, in a cannabis line, he was like, I got the soul of every rapper in me because he listened to every artist. Can't forget Tupac, all them dudes, Biggie. I listened to every single artist that I could, you know, because I, I thought that would make me the best rapper. So it's like, and it, it, it I was really good at it, you know? So you, at least I, to, I thought I was really good at it. I, I thought I was really good at it, but I still had some skills and what you have to do is you have to believe in what you're doing. You have to see yourself as being the best at what you want to do. And in order to do that, you have to study all the greats that came before you. Learn from all the greats that came before you. If, if you're a fashion designer, study all the fashion designers. Study all the people who made shoes. Study each style of shoe, all right? Even if it, you you don't like those types of shoes, even if you don't like the, that type of style of clothes or that type of style of music, study that. All right, learn to appreciate the art forms even that you don't like. Learn to have a respect for other types of art forms, other styles, other genres. All right, D different types of different types of uh, styles and stuff like that. Have appreciation for it because it may spark something in your mind that's new. You may look at something and see it a totally different way. It's all about your imagination because everybody's mind looks at things differently. You don't know how you'll view it. They may have made it that way, but you may have been meant to see it for a whole new reason to innovate it and make it into something that it's never been made into before for a long time. All right. So I want to thank everybody for checking out this video. This has been another powerful positive video i wanted to upload all right when you study and become a student you learn things other people don't because you invested the time that they didn't so you'll always have a leg up you'll always be more creative and you'll always have a larger creative space and more ideas to draw from so that way you could be the best at what it is you do all right i'll see everybody in the next video thanks for hitting the like button thanks for hitting the share button thanks for hitting the subscribe button I'll see everybody in the next video. Drew Tube out.